My case is in the hands of solicitors, but I have met up with some of the victims of Ian Sullivan, and their stories are not very nice to listen to. What they have to suffer, suffer at the hands of his work colleagues, who are police. Unbelievable. Really is unbelievable. I doubt very much an inspector will come out because I'll be asking him straight away why they covered it up. But they don't like answering questions at Merthyr Police Station. Never have, never will. They are above the law. Well, they believe they are, but then Merthyr Police have always been known as one hell of a corrupt, Masonic and shaking corrupt police force. You know, look at the Cardiff Three, all them detectives who stitched them up, who went into their cases, how many of uh, the cases would have to be kicked out of court and people released from prison because of the corruption. I know that they actually set up one poor, one of uh, Sullivan's victims and she ended up getting a prison sentence, poor bugger, because she was set up by his colleagues, making out they were there to help, when they weren't, they were there to cover up for him and stitch her up. She actually lost a baby over it, which South Wales Police have done their best to cover up. Oh, we've had one looking out the window. Let's see how many more. How many more? Are they going to come out? South Wales Police going to come out? All I want to know is for, I already know anyway, Sullivan was grooming the girl. I just want to see if they'll confirm it. They won't confirm it. They never will. They never do. <sighs> so, seems very quiet here today. I'll be going in now to see if uh, she has asked someone to come out and see if they'll come out. I you just love catching dirty, disgusting sex predator police out. I, was, I had to go to Cardiff a few weeks ago and I had a taxi down, I couldn't be bothered driving. And then me and the taxi driver was laughing, saying about hand job taxis. The police used to run all at the taxpayers' expense so they could get a shag or a blow job. And we were just, we were naming the coppers. We said, remember, so-and-so, so-and-so, going aye. And he was one of the ones, he was one, he was doing this, he was doing that. That's it. And the two worst places in Wales for the police trying to stitch anyone up is Merthyr Tidville and Swansea. And guess where, where most of these paedophiles fucking work? And men that beat their wives up and groom children. Unbelievable. Right, I'm going back in. Hey boy, any of them coming down? Sorry? Any of them coming down? I'm calling to try to sort something out now. Yeah, all I, all I want is confirmation, that's all. Oh, that's why I come with the camera. Do you know, they raided my house in 2019. They destroyed leaflets, you might have seen them on YouTube. I thought it was because it was a council worker having sex, yeah? Probably was. Wasn't? <laughs> One of their copper colleagues was grooming another copper's dead cop, de dead copper's. 15 year old daughter. That's what they like in this place. It's all gone to professional standards. It's in the hands of solicitors. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Well, your own. Your own. They groom in your own. So they groomed another cop as 15 year old daughter. And I, I know the full story, and it's sick. But then this bloke was doing it, Sullivan has got a list of it, but they've hidden everything on his personal records. His victims 
for him attacking women and violence. It's unbelievable. You go on Google, put PC and Sullivan 387. He's barred from ever being in the police, but they covered everything they could up for him. So if you go on a YouTube, so I've got a YouTube channel, go on to at 270 John O'Connell. You'll see when they illegally arrested me last year. I, I got it four clips where I asked him, were, were, they, were they riding in like a Blackpool donkey all around the police station? And I was asking if they were watching uh, Kitty Pong because that's all they do in this place. It's all on YouTube. And the best thing was that I went with a duty solicitor Sat there on the 2nd of November, they were dragging it out and I told them reporting it to the um, uh, legal ombudsman. I phoned the uh, CPS to see what was going on because they reckon they were playing football. Charged me on the 9th and when they realised they had solicitors from Manchester already set their put charges were dropped. I got my finger because I got a body camera on I don't want to put your face on. Uh, well, they, they love winning cameras, but they hate him and anyone else. Yeah. It's like that inspector get those. Do you see that? When he beat that poor boy up, just over there, dragged him in and all these were laughing at it. It's on YouTube. Hey, boy. There we are people, one of them's gone running off to see him find someone. Will they actually come down? That's the problem. Because what they like doing you is keeping you for 11 hours. They're paying in, eh, bud? Unbelievable, and the biggest bunch of nonsense on the planet. Who would you leave, who would you, who would you leave your kids with? Pakistani grooming gangs or South Wales police? Neither one. No. Neither one. Full of paedophiles. Rapists, you name it, they just cover up for each other. You want bail? Yeah. Don't speak two th things. I, I, this records as well, so. Yeah. What's that? Anyway. Then they stitched. Worst two places in Wales from stitching people up is Merthyr Tidville, and that was from a government thing done in London and Swansea. Worst two places. Do you go on YouTube? Yeah. Go on to at John O'Connell 270 yeah. and pull up mine and you'll see mine. Yeah, yeah. The corruption in this place. Last time I was illegally arrested for distributing leaflets because. I thought I was illegally arrested in 2019 because they named a council worker they were shagging all over this place. It wasn't. A PCE in Sullivan 387 was grooming his dead copper colleague's 15-year-old daughter. So if they're doing that to their own, what are they doing to other people? Yeah. Exactly. Lived in Merthyr long, you from Merthyr? I'm from Rotherham. Ah. It's just as bad over there though, and it's all northern division. Yeah. From the wrong side, I live in Aberdeen. Nice area, Aberdeen. Nice and quiet, like. That's, that's what you want, really, isn't it? Yeah. I'm at the mountain most of the time with my dog, anyway. Yeah, I, I well, my knees are gone now and that, but uh, I used to live with, with my dog. We'd be up um, every, I tell you, we used to go, what's that uh, park in Aberdeen? You drive down, they do the horses and that. No, I, I Come day, is it? Yes, Come yeah, day. Yeah. Used to take around there for a walk and everything, and then up um, Pem Van. Yeah. But then were days when my knees weren't, yeah. you know, crippled like they are. Like. Well, Jack Russell, I was very young. Nice. <laughs> Tell you what I used to have as well. Ferrets. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant the pets. Of cats, like. Yeah, I had one pole. Well, I had five. My, the most I had was five ferrets and one pole yeah. cat. My mate used to walk them on these and all that. That's what I used to do. What do you mean? Classic as well, like. Well, the more you handle them, the tamer they become, like. Yeah, used to have like a thing out his back, like coming off the thing they all lived in there, like. Yeah. Like his cage. Funny as hell. Like all obstacle courses, and I used to love it. Well, my first two ferrets were two gills. I bought them from Swansea, four pound each. So I called the one for eat and for root. <laughs> and uh, I caught the one in the door, 
where I shut the conservatory door, caught, uh, I had to rush it down to Cardiff. Cost me 160 odd quid, because my mate said it must be mad, it cost you £4 for the fare, you paid 168 quid to have it in an oxygen incubator. To all right, and then she was on medication then, and I, oh. but I didn't know when I had them, that with gills, you've got to get them injected, because if they yeah. don't mate, the yeast spills yeah, up in their private right. parts. And it spells it, doesn't it? And the vet said to me, he said, have you thought about getting a ferret with a vasectomy? Oh, the hell, how many people come across a ferret with a vasectomy? They're crying out loud. You take it easy, hope the best boy, all right? Here we are, people. Another lad who basically said, so please, please. Ah, oh, corrupt as hell. Ah, oh, corrupt as hell. But most of you know this place anyway, Murtha, don't you? You've seen a where uh, an inspector beat up a poor boy. And what's, he, what's better is that you all actually heard it was the best thing to ever happen he'd done in his life for a good while, beating up a little kid. I think I'll be blue in the face until these come. I won't have any of them, because whenever I come down, none of them will ever come out. And when I ask them about my illegal arrest in 2019, they shut off completely, as you've seen the last one. We know nothing, we know nothing, we know nothing. Police's favourite saying, we know nothing. They never have it, though, when people say it back to them, we know nothing. Look at all this, look at all the, the, the cars, what a waste of British taxpayers' money. Paying for all these vehicles for people that are no good for anything. I'd make every cop before they join the police do two years military service. Even if they don't go to conflict, they still have to do it. Then it'll weed out the dregs. So unfortunately, that's what South Wales Police and a lot of other police forces do. They take the absolute dregs of society and put him in, as we've all seen the amount of rapists and paedophiles now that can join the police force. It's already bombarded with paedophile and rapists. There we are, we're going to chuck some more in. Let's go back in and see how they're progressing. Hey, I'm just coming out to see you. I've just put an incident on. Unfortunately, I haven't got an inspector available. Oh, that's weird, because last time I came down, none of them would want to come out. In fact, many times I've been down here. Yeah. Right, can we just finish? We didn't concentrate at the moment. Oh, is he? I've put an incident on, and somebody will ring and arrange an appointment for you. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the they've already got my number. You don't need it. Right, What's disgusting is... If the police are grooming their own dead colleagues' children, what are they doing to other people's? I've already spoken to professional standards and to other police forces. Give me the paper and pen and I'll write it down. Pass. You're not busy watching child pornography, are they? That's a normal thing for a minute. Right.